So these editors, this is Racing Glider, uh, it's Anti-Gravity Rallycross. They added the one vehicle a while ago, but there haven't been that many updates since. Oh, and I, we should drink the Utterly Failing that uh, last checkpoint course. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, all the settings are video, apparently. So we have the Wind Ranger, which is designed to split the ra split the split the rare split the air and reach extreme speeds on land as on road. The Wind Ranger is the evolution of F1 in a hovercraft version. A oh, warrior of the Mantis Glider, a little racing glider, able to cross a lot of terrain due to its lightweight design. Oh, okay, so it's a motorcycle. All right, car or motorcycle? Rank one. Doing it. Now, are you going to show me the controls, or am I just going to have to pray? Are you going to load the course, or am I just going to have to pray? Please don't be one of these nights. I really, I'm, no. Oh, here we go. Brake, reverse, accelerate, okay. Boost is A. Change view is right bumper. Okay. Kind of weird that the music mix is so much louder than the, uh... That was boosting? Okay. It feels really stiff for anti-grav racing, like... I understand it's still kind of early build, but yeah, this is not sensitive at all. It's kind of like, it feels like I'm just setting a course and praying. Which I, I, I kind of welcome because I'm used to anti-grav racers being like, you like being all over the course? Because, uh, here you go. Kind of welcoming. Like, again, it's just, I don't, I don't know what it is about it. It just, it just doesn't quite feel right. Good run. Okay. No collisions. It also kind of annoys me that you need to use the mouse on the menus. Like, uh, the controller doesn't do anything on there. I don't want to give the Mantis a try here. Just for comparison's sake. Also, second place. Oh, it's like can just quick retry. That's good. Okay, this this okay, this this feels like what I was expecting. It's still a little stiff. Oh, and I love a little wiggle. But yeah, this feels a little more natural. Or you know, as this sort of racing should be. Again, the default audio makes these have a little to be desired, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, actually, I didn't see if there were any audio settings. Because if the vehicle's making any sound, I can't really hear it. I mean, it could also be stiff because I'm, I, I am a, I'm a stick wiggler more than a... Uh, Old to steer kind of guy, cause I'm a dork. Silver again, okay. Kind of interesting that your physics kind of carry over. 
into the finish, but here we are. Okay, hook. Let's keep earning some medals, I guess. I also don't know if this is going to unlock more courses as we go, or if these, you know, we're just limited to these courses because, again, early builds. Playing it kind of safe. Okay, this course feels a little... Again, yeah. The, I don't know if it's the course materials or what. This course feels a little less stiff. I also haven't quite determined what my uh, what's actually refilling my energy. Well, like an explainer on that would be great. Is it just charge over time or what? That was a terrible turn, though. I apologize. Get that straight. The dust pop out? I don't know. Like, it's weird. The, yeah, the, the brown pop out on the course is a little weird. And we're on second to highest, or second from highest setting, so. Feels like there's only one song, which is a little disappointing as well. Okay, it, energy is over time, like if you let it idle, it'll beef back up. Okay, okay, we're learning. I just kind of wish, you know, it would tell me that ahead of time. I drive off the course. I will say, like, the the course designs are fun, if a little simple. I love the vehicle designs. That's part of why I picked it up initially. Try getting medals and everything, and then yeah, HUD's a little basic, but that's fine. Oh god, I love the look of this place. The envi the environmental design here is great. Crystals and shoot. Oh, that's gonna cost me some points, but. Oh, and it's a different song. Sweet. Yeah, I'd say this definitely has potential. I just hope whoever's working on it is still working on it. Like, I'd love to see more vehicle variants for each class and maybe another class. Maybe like a I don't know if you'd want to do flight courses, but... I'm trying to think what you could use to... beef up the speed feel a bit, because it, it does feel a little sluggish. Even without the stiff controls, it's like maybe a little more motion blur? I don't know. I don't want to get anybody motion sick either. Okay. Oh, okay, we can we can keep going.
So I guess these are the only courses they have available thus far. That's fine. Well, I guess we'll keep going through ranks until... I run out of material. Oh, this is this is I like I like this these opening beats. I like that the uh, the course bears in this one kind of blend in. Well, the course itself blends into the background. I don't know if things feel a little looser. I'd have to actually go in and compare the numbers on the uh, uh, speed of uh, the speedometer. But I, I'm, I'm liking the feel of this rank a little more. I don't know what, if anything, is different. But feels good. Panic a little there. And I could almost definitely be taking a lot of these turns better and optimizing my boost use, but whatever. We're here to explore. Whoa! Super blah 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 blah. Kinda curious if boosting produced downforce like it does an onrush. Apparently they're on season three. I totally missed season two. I kinda don't care. <laughs> I forget if it was free or just on deep discount somewhere. Oh no, that's right. It's free on uh, PS Plus. So they like they were like, "Welcome new players." I like on rush, but I don't really miss not playing it. Okay. Yeah, that was scrubbed here. So I don't know if we're actually gonna get that far and do another rank. Oop. I guess you could just hit the reset button if you wanted to give that another go. We're going to Blue Land. It's like Disney, but blue. You want to smash? I brought blue. It was cold. A little love tay up. Oh, more crystals. I love crystals. All the solar panels uh, remind me kind of like the the dish fields from 2010, the sequel to 2001, featuring Roy Scheider, which I never really watched much of the movie. I watched like the first 20 minutes. It was like, all right, bedtime. Oh, were those boost pads? Those were boost pads. Those probably would have been useful to hit. And I'm guessing this is going to be entirely time trial. I didn't really pay attention to the description when I bought it, but... It's a discussion we're going to have for the project, so might as well play them. Yeah, I honestly don't know if I'm better off using my boost for aggression or recovery. I think the, the sluggishness is supposed to reflect the weight of the craft, but it, again, with anti-gravity, it just doesn't feel right. Back to Silver City. Storm in Mountain. Uh... I may have blown it up. <laughs> 